Hi everybody, welcome to the nine money-making marketing strategies for portrait studios. My name is Robert Provence and I'm a full-time professional photographer and have been for over 30 years running a successful studio photographing babies, children, many, many families, and many, many weddings over the years. So these are the four main categories, you know, including some commercial photography and some editorial photography, and it all amounts to making a great living, earning profits in a photography studio. This is something, by the way, I know many, many photographers who are very successful at as well, and many, many photographers can also still achieve in today's day and age. So let me show you how I built my photography business using specific strategies. The first strategy I use is called the Baby's First Year Wall Panel. Here's an example of, uh, of the wall panel from my studio. The one on the left, the little boy, there's a session from three, six, nine, and 12 months. The little girl on the right is newborn, four, eight, and 12 months. Now we offer these to our client whatever choice they want. They can bring their babies in at whatever ages. We give them the option. We deliver to them at the end of the year a panel exactly like this, custom designed, which is 10 by 30 inches. Now you can deliver these in matted frames if you like. You can deliver them on masonite board. We deliver ours on plaque mounting, which is created by the lab. And we also upgrade to a canvas print as well. Some photographers offer three sessions a year. It doesn't matter what you do. What really matters is that if you want to photograph babies, 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 many, many babies, this is probably the best way to market to babies. Here's an example of an upgrade. So a lot of our clients come in and we offer them the basic baby's first year and then we offer them the, uh, the, uh, the gold version and then the platinum version, which has a DVD. So this is a, an example of a DVD cover. You know, it gets folded, there's the case, it gets folded, and there's an actual DVD. I'll talk a little bit more about that upgrade in a minute. Well, let me talk a little bit about the baby's first year. Now, it's excellent, excellent for creating steady clients and for creating steady cash flow. One of the easiest markets to target market because it's obvious. I mean, it's people who are having babies. You know specifically who they are. So that way you can use direct response marketing. You don't have to go to big media like print, TV, radio, and such because this is an easy market to find. It's a, very, uh, it's a very attractive offer because it's very economical, but it's got to be done a certain way. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. And not to mention, no pressure needed. The easy, easy upsell when our clients come in uh, and they come into the baby's first year when you build trust, when you build a good rapport. Uh, we just show them what's available. It's all about being consultive and giving them information. So Now, the next item that is a perfect segue to the baby's first year is called the toddler panel. Now this is uh, an excellent follow-up to the baby's first year. You'll notice a trend, by the way. A lot of these people keep coming back. We're getting them used to coming back to our studio. Now what happens is your name gets out there, your market position builds, and through each individual client that you have, it spreads out like a spider web. And these clients bring in more sessions through referrals and through their own immediate circle. For example, a mom might come in, maybe her baby sister's getting married in a couple of years. A mom comes in, maybe her husband's family is having a uh, large family gathering uh, next summer and they need a, a, an excellent family portrait photograph taken and they're going to come to you because you're the photography studio that they go to. So it really helps you to position yourself in the marketplace. Here's an example of what the toddler panel might look like, uh, but it's more to do with the age and the age is Two and a half, three, three and a half, four years. Now what's important to note here is on the baby's first year wall panel, they come in every three months because the baby changes a lot. And that's one of our marketing angles, by the way. Your baby will change more in their first year than at any other point in their life. And what's good about this is because it's such an ideal segue, if, you, if you've done a good job and they respect you, they value you as a photography studio, this is really, really easy to sell. You basically have to just point it out, say it's available if you want it. The majority will immediately go here. So it's the exact same product as the baby's first year. It's a panel throwing three or four sessions, photographed six months apart. And the same idea, the same strategy, it's all about the baby, the child, cha the changes in the child's life. 
So every six months, the changes are more dramatic. So you don't have to go every three months anymore. And again, it keeps them coming back. It builds loyalty. It's all about loyalty. So let me talk about the next strategy, which is a creative kids club. Now this, you'll notice there's a perfect segue. Baby's first year segues into the uh, toddler panel, which segues into the creative kids club. Okay, I want to point something out. When you're getting into the Creative Kids Club and the next special I'm going to show you, it's a simple session. You do not have to give them an elaborate, on-location, complete designer session. A lot of photographers get a little bit leery about this because they value uh, each session and they, they look at each session like it's got a certain amount of value. These are stripped down, bare bone sessions. And the reason we offer these are twofold. One, keeps people coming back, keeps them in part of your family, and gives uh, you reason to communicate with them on an ongoing basis, which I'll talk about in a little, little bit more detail in a minute. But the most important thing is, is that it answers a need. Because a lot of people, now by this point in time, a lot of people are sending their kids to school, and they're not really happy with school pictures. So let's look at it real quick. You've got the baby's first year, and then you've got the toddler panel, and that goes up to one, two, three, up to the age of four. Then you sell them the Creative Kids Club, which takes care of the next five years. They no longer have to rely on, on um, school pictures and come to you for professional pictures. So it's a, it's a pretty straightforward session. It's easy to promote, as I mentioned, perfect segue. Uh, we've sold tons and tons of these on displays in the shopping center, elsewhere throughout our city, in newsletters, and social media, and to past clients. Uh, here's an example of one of the upgrades. And, a little four-year-old boy here, you can see one of the products that we make available to our clients. Here's an example of a flyer. I'll show you another one in a minute, but here's a classic example of widgetizing your products. The Creative Kids Club, five years, you get an album. By the way, the album, just go to your local supplier, go to your lab, 20 bucks wholesale, you can get a nice album, five by sevens. Every time they come in, we uh, give them the five by seven to slip into the album. Now, when you're pitching this, and you show them examples, and you show them your really awesome photography. The moms, they they can't they can't resist it. It's irresistible. It's 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 just so suited for them. So you got you got to look at it properly. Don't look at it like I have to sell three thousand dollars every six months to each session. That's not the strategy behind this. Mind you, some will buy more, some will buy none, some will buy average amounts. You have to step back and, for example, look at it and go, hmm, last year I sold 77 Creative Kids Clubs uh, programs, and on average I sold $83,000 gross. I look at your cost, and that's the way you got to look at it, and that's just one component of the entire photography business. I hope you understand this point. It's really, really important not to get really focused and to not get too hung up on the money math. We also, as you see, we offer a free toy for the kids, and uh, we have uh, tattoos in our studio for our children. Just, you know, little temporary tattoos. So, a lot of fun. Good times. All right, the next one is the Fiverr Family Plan. This is more suited for young families. Again, it's a simple session in studio keeps them coming to you, again, upsells, again, part of the family, keeps people coming back, you're their family photographer. So, but if a client comes to us and goes, well, we have our uh, five-year family plan, and we, we're having, my husband's having a uh, large family gathering next summer, 23 people, et cetera, et cetera, and we want to photograph it out at the cottage, does not qualify. You have to explain that in a very courteous way. Easy to upsell, though. If you're their photographer, they will pay the upsell to go and pay the full regular session fee. No problem if they trust you and they value the service that you're offering. Again, this is suitable for young families in studio. Here's a high-key shot. Here's a low-key shot. And here's a very young family with a little newborn baby. So just to give you an example. All right, the next strategy, one of my favorites, all-time favorites, is called new Studio Newsletters. I don't want you to get confused here and uh, cheap out on me because you want to mail these directly into their mailbox, just like grandma would send a birthday card, handwritten, nice big old stamp. Uh, when you consider it, when you consider the value, when you consider the impact and your return on investment, it's very, very, very low cost. Great way to deliver your personality into their homes. Great way to get offers put across to them. 
and you also want to include some inspiration and photography in each newsletter. You always mail these to past clients. Again, it's an open invitation to their home. Now, some of you might be saying, well, I'm just going to send out an email-based newsletter. Eh, I guess that's better than nothing, but I really encourage you to avoid that, that type of thinking. There is nothing that beats receiving a tangible, tactile, in-the-mail newsletter, something that they can rip open, assuming they know you, like you, respect you, and value you, and you do these properly. They have to be done a certain way. They will absolutely love receiving these. Let me show you a couple examples from my studio. This is 11 by 17 folded. So when they open up the newsletter, and by the way, it gets folded in half, and then it gets fold trifold, so it gets stuffed into a regular envelope, one stamp. We also have enough weight room in there to include a coupon on typically printed black and white on a colored paper for an additional offer or special of the month or something of that nature. Might, we might include something on printed on a golden rod style paper which is uh, to do with say a gift certificate special we're having or something. So you know ink is cheap. You want to include as much as you can. So on this particular one which was printed at 5000cards.com excellent printer by the way 5000cards.com very well suited for photographers low run low cost high quality I urge you to check them out so when they, the client opens this up <clears throat> they see a bunch of newsy items I put in some quotes a little bit of information about my daughter there's a picture of me and my new addition the cool red couch I'm also talking about a local restaurant down on the bottom left way at the bottom bottom is the midwifery clinic that I do a lot of work for and I have displays at uh, over in the middle just below family you can see where I have the uh, little promo for fairy day which we run twice a year and on the top right there's a little blurb about the local theater and the local symphony both of which I'm affiliated with and on the bottom right these are all newsy items now these are things that people in our town and things and people that our people, our clients, know about. And if they don't, well, they'll find them very informative, very interesting. So the one on the bottom right is a local foot doctor who published a book, and it was all my photography, all to do with the local trails in our area. Awesome publicity for me. Up on the top left, I was on Man Tracker a couple years ago on the, it was a reality TV show, a lot of fun, and I had the honor and privilege of being on that, and so it was something awesome to brag about. Here's the front page. Now you got to remember, on the right is the front, it gets folded underneath, and the back page is on the left. So you want to talk like as if you're talking to people sitting across from the kitchen table. A lot of my clients know that I love coffee and I joke about it all the time. Actually, some of my clients will show up with a coffee from Starbucks. It's awesome. They, they do it all the time. It's amazing. So a little bit more about the studio and stuff. I'm talking about stuff and on the back page of people love, love, love seeing past examples of some of the work that's been going on. Uh, in particular, women love this in particular. They're very, very curious and so you want to give them the opportunity. And you know when you're doing this, you're actually suggesting a lot of these sessions. There's families, fairies, weddings. Uh, there's a picture of a, a lady in yoga stance from a commercial shoot I'd done for a local yoga studio and a senior session and a baby's first year a 12 month birthday cake smash session awesome way to promote constantly be talking about your work now let me talk about the way I used to do newsletters and I actually love this technique it's very very low cost same layout as the previous example I just showed you but it's printed black and white on colored stock I would print these on goldenrod yellow loud lime green pink blue it doesn't matter give it personality give it a lot of love talk about stuff that is relevant talk about stuff that is right from the heart you do not have to be an author you do not have to be an English major as a matter of fact the worst thing to do is to get an English major to go through this because they will kill the life they will kill the personality you want to keep it real the best technique I know for creating content is 
sit down like as if you're talking to somebody across from the kitchen table and just write without thinking. Just write, write. I hear it all the time. People tell me, I am not a writer. Yes, you are. If you talk, if you know how to tell stories about what's going on in your studio, then you're a writer because that's all you got to write about. There's a lot more to it than that, but I don't really have time to get into it in great detail. However, I'm going to show you in a minute how you can have access to a lot more. The other marketing strategy is giving out monthly and seasonal offers. Now this is really, really simple guys. You just need any reason to create an offer. Spring, summer, fall, winter is an obvious one. You can have gift certificate sales. There's an example of a gift certificate sale we had. You can offer, oh, Creative Kids Club. I mentioned that already. There's an exa another example of a flyer. So you can promote this in a newsletter, say, and say, well, we have the June Mother Father's Day Creative Kids Club for next two weeks on sale. We used to sell those for $149, and we put them on sale for $97. Baby's first year, and again, we have uh, family sessions. This is one that we mailed into people's homes. Uh, $147 includes an 8x10 and 12 greeting cards. This is a loss leader of sorts. We make a little bit of money. The idea is, is that... If you're well established in your city, that's what you want to do. You want to establish your market position when you mail out something like this, especially when you mail out cold, better to mail it out to people who are uh, past clients. But when you mail it out cold, they at least know or heard of you, and they'll be more likely to respond to the offer. It's all about creating offers. You can do that for seniors, senior sessions, family sessions, family sessions. Look at this one here. All it is is the October family special. Just give them a reason. They just need a reason. Here's one I came up with years ago. I called it the 20-minute white session. I did it in November because November I couldn't go outside anymore. It was too cold and snowy. So we came up with this idea, and it worked like gangbusters. The phone rang off the hook. You can look at places, uh, parks, uh, oceanfront, rivers in your area. You offer it to clients' cottages in home. You can have it. There, maybe, maybe, maybe there's a unique geographic structure in your area. I don't know. This Maybe like there's an old iron bridge or something on the outskirts of town. It's really funky for taking cool pictures. And you could say, uh, we are the old iron bridge studio specialists on sale for the next two weeks, blah, blah, blah. I think you get the picture. Any event works. Birthdays, St. Patty's Day, Halloween, Fall, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Summer, Winter, etc., etc. One reason is about as good as another, but you've got to give people reasons. Thank you cards is the next strategy I want to talk about. This is absolutely amazing. Now here's an example of a thank you card we created for our studio. Two local scenes that I photographed. One on the left is the inside of the card. It's called Killarney Sunset. Killarney is a wilderness park not far from our city. Everybody knows about it. It's world class. And then the one on the right is called Misty Moraine's Ramsey Lake. Uh, it's a lake right in our city. Everybody recognizes this scene. So when they open it up, they, they read a quote, a little motivational quote I put in there, and I leave it blank because I handwrite everything. I will send out thank you cards, uh, sympathy cards when somebody has a loss, congratulations cards when somebody has an award in your city, in your town. You want to blow people away, send them a card. It's rare. Not too many people do it. Not too many people have the gumption to get off their butts and express their gratitude. There's nothing like gratitude as the... One of the biggest secrets to marketing. All right, let's talk a little bit more about themed events as another marketing strategy. Now, this is cool. Fairy Day is a big one in our town, in my city, in my studio. We do Fairy Day twice a, twice a year, and uh, we sell a lot of portraits selling these Fairy Day themed events. We can also create preteen sessions, puppy dog sessions, pet sessions. You can create theme sessions based on hobbies, horses, cowgirls, old-time portraits, dance themes, it doesn't matter. Come up with something. The important thing is to come up with something. Here's one we created, or one of our most latest. It's called the Renaissance Portrait, sort of similar to Fairy Day, a little bit unique. And I had a little boy come in on uh, Renaissance. Look at this little dude. He looks like a knight. So a lot of people ask, well, what do you do for little boys? Well, we can do these, but my favorite is Rockstar Day. Boys love posing and having their images taken for Rockstar Day. So there's always a way, if there's a market, there's always a way to come up with a special. And uh, here's another example done a few years later of the 20-minute uh, white session. 
something you can repeat every every day or every year rather. So bundling and layering is one of the last uh, things I want to talk about. The, the idea behind this is, is that you want to take your photography and in order to make it stand out so you're not marketing apples to apples, you're marketing apples to oranges and you really stand out in your marketplace. Create offers that are unique to you, largely based on things that are similar to the Creative Kids Club and the baby's first year. Uh, the main offer gets them in the door. You want to, It builds a relationship. There's never any real need for high pressure. You're really giving them information. You're answering and solving a problem they have. Now, a lot of photographers struggle with, well, what do I do about digital files? Not an issue if you're doing this properly. If you're marketing on that level, you're marketing on the price level. You're marketing on price alone. Price is, when you're marketing on price, you're marketing as a commodity. You want to get away from that. And the way to do that is to build market position through offers that really resonate with people. And plus you want to create levels, silver, gold, and platinum. I'll show you an example of how we do that in our studio in a minute. But remember, it's a lost leader in many respects. You can offer contests. You know how they do the deal a day offers through the deal a day sites? That's very similar, very, very similar to contests. It's a low cost offer, an amazing offer. Um, the important thing is, is you got to be careful as to what you offer and not give away the farm. Displays are a very, very, very powerful tactic as well. And you can do things like first session gift free. Uh, you can go to wedding shops, did this for many, many years, offer a free engagement session so that they can give them out to their clients. Uh, you can offer a newborn session, which is free. Remember in the newsletter where I had the midwifery clinic, one of the projects I had done with them? Well, anyways, those people have access to a lot of newborns, obviously. Give them a free, very, very nicely printed up newborn session gift certificate that they give out to their clients. It looks like it comes from them, gets people in your door, and you have to build rapport, build relationships, and build respect and market position in your community. So babies first year, they come in on the silver babies first year, and we upgrade them to the gold and platinum. Again, no pressure, automatic. We just show it to them fully. 60% will upgrade to gold, 20% will upgrade to, upgrade to platinum. Don't even have to push them into it. They just do it on their own. Now, I want to point something out. If you're starting out, look at my price point, $399. I did not start there, and if you're starting out, do not jump into that level. You have to start low and build your market position and your pricing up year after year. It takes a couple of years to get this going. We used to sell these at $69, then we went to $99, then we went to $149, $200, uh, incrementally going up every year. After about seven years, we got up to $399. Final thoughts. Now, marketing is much more than just mere one, two, three steps. It's a mindset and starts with a great product. You got a great product, great offer over time, underscored by quality, equals profits. Building a long-term photography studio business doesn't happen overnight. Now, there's three ways you can join me. Wizardoflight.com has a free newsletter and many, many articles. You're welcome to go read them. Just go to, go to wizardoflight.com. Check out the uh, past newsletters, past articles. I have a lot of information on there, all free. Also, you can join me for $19 and $97, $0.97 a month at No BS Photo Success. I'll show you a little bit more in a second what that's all about. There's a sign-up fee plus 20 bucks a month gets you into an amazing amount of information. I'll show you a little bit real quick. If you want to be coached one-on-one, -on -one, go to go to wizardoflight.com forward slash coaching. So when you join No BS Photo Success or the coaching, you have access to a lot of webinars and presentations. Much, much too many to mention right now, but they're all in there on every particular aspect to do with building a successful photography business, including photography marketing systems and sales, ads and promotions, publicity marketing, social media pricing, uh, including, uh, I, I've personally created over a thousand pages on manuals, on marketing, on sales, on publicity, including the triple power pack on um, marketing your photography studio. Platinum Club Newsletters, which is a series of newsletters on creating marketing strategies for your photography studio and audio interviews as well as presentations on publicity a whole lot of stuff on lighting 
families, weddings, babies, commercials, seniors, fairy portraits, and more on lighting. Now, this isn't stuff that's academic. This is in the trenches. Legit, real, paying clients, lighting strategies and marketing strategies. Maternity portraits at sale. I got the complete wedding success system. A to Z, all in there, as well as creative kids, portraits, and marketing, as well as the entire fairy portrait success system, all in there when you join OBS Photo Success. And there's an entire system based on boudoir photography. There's a lot more. I mean, there's so much I can't even, I don't have enough time. So I would suggest you go to this website if you want to read about that. Go to nobsphotosuccess.com forward slash join us. I want to just put a final plug and a final statement on, on the heartbeat to what creates a, an awesome forum. And I believe we've, we've achieved this at, over at Nobias Photo Success. And that is the members. The members are unbelievable. No egos, no prima donnas, no attitudes. Everybody's welcome no matter what level you're at. If you're a newbie, if you've been at it a long time, it's a great place to be connected, to constantly be learning, sharing, and growing, and expanding. All things total, it's an awesome place to be. I hope you'll check it out. I hope you'll join us. So having said that, I'm going to let you go now. Thank you for sticking around this far. If you have any questions, do me email me. And uh, I hope to see you on the inside. And I hope you succeed in your photography business and your photography adventure. Take care now. Bye for now.